also, by the way, necessary for hormone production, but it also helps detoxify the other toxic halogens like fluoride and chlorine and bromine from the body. So I mean, I cannot tell people, I mean, people can read the reviews at InfoWarsLife.com, just getting off of this for a moment. I cannot tell people, because I remember growing up and, and, and seeing like health nut hippies, master swimmers, people I knew, my mom's friends, and I'd see like a jug of water with a little bit of pink in it, and I'd say, what's that? And they were just putting raw, you know, cruddy iodine, in it, and these people look great. They're like, iodine, man, you got to have it. So I know the hippies always knew this, um, or, you know, kind of the health nuts, but it's just so incredible that you said, watch out, you may have a, you know, detoxifying event within three to four weeks. And about three weeks later, I felt crappy for about five days. And then I don't want to get gross, but all this stuff was coming out of my skin, uh, other things. Why was it doing that, Dr. Group, from your research? Well, from our research, it pulls out the toxic halogens like bromine, chlorine, and fluorine. And so... So is that why you feel bad a few weeks in? You start sloughing it? Well, not only that, there, it'll also start pulling out some of the other chemicals and toxins, and it'll start pulling it out from the thyroid and all the other cells in the body. And especially if you have, you know, back then you were also 40 pounds heavier. So when you're, because iodine is absorbed by all the fat cells, and fat cells actually store toxins, whether it's phthalates, I mean, we could list a million toxins, but everybody's different. You might have more phthalates stored, or somebody else might have more uh, phytoestrogens or xenoestrogens or something like that, or pesticides, insecticides, herbicides. It just depends on it. When you start pulling out all those chemicals and toxins from all the cells, then they go back into your bloodstream, and that causes a Herxheimer reaction. And then you can be have headaches, you can be more fatigued for a few days, and that's why we recommend drinking a lot of water. Usually people that are a little bit overweight, the heavy, heavier you are, the more chances are that you're going to experience a Herxheimer reaction. And let's be clear, everybody's different. If somebody's thyroid is already really screwed up, already having problems, and you push this in, and it starts pushing out bad halogens that had it filled, that you might, something bad might happen. I mean, people really should talk to their physician before taking X2, shouldn't they, Dr. Group? Yeah, they should, uh, no doubt about it. But that's also why talking about infertility and one of the main causes for women actually is, is polycystic ovarian and cysts everywhere. And we know that the accumulation of cysts, whether it's in men or women. It's epidemic in women. I mean, almost every woman I know is getting cysts, even at young ages, on their ovaries, you name it. What's going on? And thyroid, too. People are being diagnosed with thyroid cysts. And everybody's being di diagnosed with hyper, hypo, or Hashimoto's thyroid disorders. And that's all linked specifically to an iodine deficiency. And I'm not, you know, one that, that promotes you being on 30, 40 different supplements every single day. But iodine, there's no doubt that children and adults, in my opinion, like you said, talk to your natural or your healthcare practitioner, but that's something that you're just not going to get in your normal And let's explain. Diet. If you don't have iodine, your body will absorb the bad halogens to run and operate. Uh, and then that's when this stuff starts up. I mean, when you, the bromide, the bromine, the chlorine, the fluoride, that's in the same family. That's what goes in there. That's right. And iodine is actually toxic in itself when it comes from the earth. We have to take it through a detoxification process to where it's already broken down into the iodine that's naturally broken down in, let's say, plants like kelp. So that's why ours turns purple and all the other uh, dark blue on paper. Others turn red because what it, it's still bound or explain that to me. Well, it's in a monoatomic state. Basically, it's it, it, iodine in its natural crystalline form. If you take it from the earth, it's going to gas out. And if you breathe that gas in, it can it can be toxic to you. It can burn the tissues and and work as an oxidant. So what we do is we use a proprietary technique to where we almost simulate it going through the processes in the body to where we it has a negative charge on it to where it's a monotomic form of iodine, exactly what would happen if it was broken down in your liver. And that's also another reason why we recommend doing liver cleansing and then also doing intestinal cleansing as well to get everything working properly in your body so your body can actually eliminate the chemicals and toxins that you're pulling out of the tissues properly.
Well, I just wish I'd have known all this earlier. It is a game changer to know my hormones have been manipulated by the globalists through the food, the water, the rest of it, and that there are these natural compounds. I want to go to some phone calls across the board, a bunch of different issues, uh, political, you name it. But, but Dr. Group, uh, also, what are some of the other game changers uh, that people aren't aware of for male and female fertility? I mean, what can males do with an 87, 90% sperm drop across the Western world because of our loving friends, the New World Order? Is there any way to counter that? Yes, there is. I mean, it's balancing your hormones naturally. And the first thing you want to do is try to avoid as many of the harmful hormone disrupting chemicals and endocrine disrupting chemicals out there, which are going to be your fluoride, your vaccine. So, so don't get TV dinners and put them in the microwave, which heats up the bisphenol A and basically gives you a sterilant dose. Yeah, but I tell you one, and that's the reason why I develop and, and you promote some of these things, the super male vitality. The super female vitality, that was developed using natural herbs that have been tested for over thousands of years to help you naturally balance your hormones. I mean, we talk about the things that restrict hormones and how hormones get out of balance, and you can eliminate those things. But especially with males, males are really affected these days. 50% of the infertility problems have to do with males these days. And so it's not just the females like we thought years ago. So now that's why we came out with exclusive, unique formulas that we can balance or help the body naturally balance the hormone levels to increase the body's ability to produce testosterone, DHEA, all the growth hormone, all these things that naturally decrease from the age of 28 in males. And not only for men, but you have the super female vitality, which is going to naturally balance out the estrogen and progesterone balance in females because we really do have what's called estrogen dominance these days. I mean, with soy and being in everything and all of the other things that we've talked about. So what it's not if you have a hormone imbalance or not. 10 out of 10 people right now over the age of 28 have hormone imbalance. The hor that's why the adrenal glands get affected. That's why people are having thyroid problems. That's why people are having mood swings. That's why you have so many people suffering from depression, anxiety. Because this modern society is so unnatural, so toxic. Right, and if you have a solution for that by cleansing the body, cleansing the liver, utilizing the survival shield X2, the iodine, the super male vitality, the super female vitality, you're able to eliminate some of those hormone disrupting chemicals that are coming in to your body on a daily basis. It's about addressing the root cause. It's not look, go find somebody who can do IVF on you or you know, utilizing all these different types of techniques, growing sperm in laboratories and implanting it. You have the ability, you have the self-healing mechanism within your own body to heal anything. It's just being suppressed. Exactly. Why has it got to be in a test tube? Instead, we can use our own body as the test tube. Well, they never want you to know the truth. They never want you to know how you can fix yourself or how your body can repair itself. And that's what our whole mission is, is to let people know that you have the ability to do all this yourself. All you have to do is cleanse your body. All you have to do is take the proper supplements, all the things that you currently have in the InfoWarsLife.com store over there are going to address all the issues that we're battling every single day, whether it be from chemtrails in the air or GMO foods or fluoride in the water, it doesn't matter. There's a solution or toxins in the air on how you can purify your own air. But once you reduce the amount of chemicals and toxins coming into your body on a regular basis, then your body self-healing mechanism can activate again. And it's something, especially with the super male and super female vitality, that I take, my wife takes, the older we get, and nowadays you have women and men that wanted to wait till they were 35 or 40 years old before they have a child. And they're running into the situation where the male's hormones are decreased, the woman's has high estrogen content and low progesterone, and their hormones are out of, out of balance. The woman is suffering from ovarian cyst or polycystic ovary uh, disease. And what is modern medicine doing for that? 
they're obviously not telling them that they need to clean their body. And besides that, wouldn't you want to have a clean, healthy body before you want to conceive? Well, yeah, I mean, people ought to at least try it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. And, and clearly, it, it's absolutely a huge mitigating factor uh, for folks. I want to go to calls that were even here before you were here, Dr. Grimm, but I always love to get your views on the rest of the world when we go out to dinner or hang around the office here. So we're going to do that. And then if people have time to call in after these callers are gone, I know we can always load the phones with folks that want to ask you different questions. Super Mel Vitality is back in next week. You can order it now. It arrives on Monday. Super Female Vitality is in stock. So you can now order those, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And your purchases does make this whole media operation uh, possible. So thank you. Please also support our local AM and FM affiliates, become sponsors or support local sponsors. That's just as important as supporting us as well. Uh, Simon, well, well, before we go to Simon, man, Dr. Group, what do you make of Russia hitting those ISIS targets and now already driving them out of many areas, turning the ISIS Saudi Arabian Western back defensive. Russia's tried to come to the U.S. to have meetings uh, with the Defense Department about coordinated strikes. They're trying to meet with U.S. diplomats. Uh, this only happens for folks that don't know. At the beginning of World War II, the Japanese stopped seeing their diplomatic counterparts two days before Pearl Harbor. So it's unprecedented that diplomatic connections, even in the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1961, 1962, we're going on. Diplomatic connections have now been severed. Russia's been kicked out of the G8. Uh, I don't think for, and not our audience is very smart, but for the general public, I don't think they realize, Dr. Grip, this is unprecedented. Well, there's no doubt about that. We've been talking about all the events that have been happening, and it's just a hundredfold, it seems like, since, let's say, July of this year. I mean, coming into August, September, October. All we could feel it. We talked happened. about it. The dread. Yeah. Right. It, it, it's just an culmination of everything. It's not, you know, I, I'm not the type of guy I meditate every single day that has anxiety, but I've been feeling just this anxiety that's coming over me. And it's, it's so strange because usually I keep myself pretty calm. All these things that are happening in Russia and all over the world, it's creating an extreme amount of fear and anxiety. I mean, when that's all that people, you know, you got to still 90% of the world's population watches mainstream uh, media. Hopefully it's less than that by now, but you can almost look at people walking around and, and tell. Just, you just suck in their anxiety or something. I, I'll try to like put a force field around myself or something because it's crazy. It's just this well, they're also so incredibly unconscious and stupid, so they're just being fed everything to their subconscious. They have no shield. And and you're also picking up the fact that the public's turning evil. Not everybody. Folks are either getting better or they're getting worse. I don't think there's an in-between now. But people are also just buying into the spirit of the world. People are hating each other. Uh, and it's just very wicked. It's being programmed so we don't stand up for each other when they pull the switch. Simon in Florida on the Russian ministry briefing this morning. Simon, go ahead. Welcome. Hey, how you doing, brother? Good, my friend. Thank you for holding. Yeah, um, I just wanted to let you know about the uh, the briefing from this morning for the Russian foreign ministry. Um, it was it was tweeted out like four different times by RT, and they've they've since removed those tweets. And the link that didn't work for the video, the live video, and then they posted it on YouTube, and then they shut that video down. Okay, what was it? I sent you guys. It was the ministry was, meeting. What happened? Well, it was in Russian. I'm hoping you guys can translate it. That's why I was getting to you. Okay, but you're you, but so you're I wondering why they pulled it down. I'm wondering. Well, it, well, it was the headlines that really got my attention. One of them was no one knows where arms sent to rebels by U.S. will end up. Another one was Syrian army advancing on extremists. Russia believes U.S. reaction to Dutch MH17 report aimed at distorting public opinion. And the other one was, the YouTube one was attack on Russian embassy in Syria, a result of propaganda. So I figured you guys would want to look at that and maybe translate the video, let everybody know what that is about. Well, there's one just huge thing. escalations. What do you make of the U.S. diplomats refuse to meet with the Russian foreign minister for, for a week? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm I'm wondering if you know in Crimea if they're if they're pulling some of the same stuff as Putin's doing that or the same thing we're doing over there. I don't know. I see tweets about that all the time. Well, it's really heating up. Anything else, Simon? 
Yeah. Is Bernie Sanders the voice of the aardvark from the Pink Panther cartoon? Actually, I think it is.